What the fuck is a yearning pretzel? Hi, I'm Zmei, and if you know me, it's no secret that I have bad posture. I'm like if a question mark came back to life. Like a gender bender version of Quasimodo. If Sir Mix-a-Lot made a song about me, it wouldn't be called Baby Got Back, it would be called Baby Got Bad Back. While researching what could influence my bad posture, apparently bad sleeping positions will cause a lot of back and neck pain. Now it might come to nobody's surprise that sleeping on your back is the holy grail of sleeping. It's like missionary, but for resting. That's kind of boring. Nobody wants to see that. You're here to see me try some of the wackiest sleeping positions that I found with the help of my friend, ChatGPT. Disclaimer, I don't know how ChatGPT's engine actually works, but I'm pretty sure it was pulling my leg half the time. And who knows, maybe one of these positions might just fix my acne, my grades, my back pain, neck pain, my face imagery. I don't know, maybe it gets me a better job that pays 40k a year. But without further ado, here are our contestants for today. Number one, the Zen. Number two, the Starfish Hugger. Number three, the Yearning Pretzel. Number four, the Log. And number five, the Tuck and Roll. I'm going to spend two nights in each position, and at the end, I will rate all of them in these five criteria. How comfortable they are. How easy was it to fall asleep? Did I wake up throughout the night? Did I wake up feeling rested? And did I wake up with back slash neck pain? And with all this, I think it's time for us to begin. There's no way that any human alive sleeps in this pose by choice. I googled the Zen pose, I can't find anything about it, which isn't a good sign. I feel like my circulation to my legs is cut off. See you tomorrow. This was a failure. Don't fret, because tonight we're gonna try it one more time. And hopefully we're gonna get to that pose. Let's go. Hello, I can fall asleep. I realized the main issue is that my thighs in so much pain, but to help me, I've been Envisioning that I'm trying to fall asleep on the horse. I, I couldn't fall asleep. I don't like that my hands are exposed. Coldness really did affect me. I've been since informed that doing my vlogs right after I wake up is a bit unsettling for some people. Which is why I'm doing it straight out of my bed. Last night was okay. Uh, no issues. No troubles. Fell asleep like this. Once I figured out the hack where you have to actually wear the hoodie to not be cold. No problem sleeping. As soon as the consciousness leaves the chat, my body is like, oh, nope, let's go back to our default. So if you see me fall asleep in my regular position, I like roll back and forth to tuck the blankets underneath. I sleep like if you were solving a murder mystery and you found a body rolled up in a carpet. That's me. That's what I sleep like. We're going to be doing the... Fuck is a yearning pretzel. I know the yearner, and I know the pretzel, but the pretzel is that one pose in yoga where you put your legs behind your head, and I can't do that for sure. When I said give me uncommon sleeping positions, I think what it did is it took all the sleeping positions, mixed and matched them, like some sick twisted puzzle pieces. I think I'm gonna homebrew the sleeping pretzel. I'm gonna do the yearner. But I'm gonna make the legs really bendy. It was quite nice. Um, the pose? Fuck the pose. Because the yearning pretzel isn't a thing. Listen, Google says it's not a thing. Pretzel isn't a sleeping position. I checked. I homebrewed my own. Not gonna lie, it was one of the most comfortable things ever. It was just. The... What time is it? I don't know. Really. So I slept for probably solid nine hours, which is. Maybe. Good morning, it's May recording live from my bedroom. So far, the yearning pretzel is my favorite one. Why? I just get to sleep however I want for just a wonderful night of just calm. The log to me looks like the most uncomfortable position. You're laying on your whole hand, so lack of circulation much. Wish me luck. Bye. What's up, little gang? Who thought? Cause there's no way. This is probably the worst that Inori is gonna see me. Unless I make an apology video. And then if I have a glow up at some point, they can all refer to this video for the before picture. 
I'm like Emma Chamberlain, uh, but if she had no ambition. The leg situation. My legs are too skinny and bony to be perfectly on top of each other. Because the knees and the ankles are clanking all the time. Like, I feel tucked in and very compact. It's very nice. I can't fall asleep. Like, it feels like I'm in a, some sort of like a cocoon. Because I couldn't fall asleep in the position. I have no clue how I spent nine months in that position when I was a baby. Don't look at this. This is Christopher Lee. Liv Christopher. That I was sleeping uh, uh, sleeping in uh, over the week. You'll, you, you could, you'll do, you, you want, you, you could do so. You. I think Russian writers do it. Like the train of thought writing? Goddamn. My train of thought is like a train that's been, um, it's my train of thought is like a train that derailed a long time ago and now it's speeding towards a. My train of thought is like a totally problem where there's one person there, five people there, and I have to choose a bit more. What am I talking about? I don't know. I'm just saying, I don't know who's the show. And that's what you're saying. Maybe it is. You don't know what it is. Okay. This vlog is not about this. This vlog is about sleeping. I didn't sleep. Standards for what good vlogging is are on the floor. And we all know that I'm not gonna fall asleep in it. Or I'll try it. I'll see you in an hour where I tell you that I'm not falling asleep in this pose. Uh, I fell asleep quite quickly. I had the weirdest fucking dream with uh, Donatella Versace, where she was like this giant hiking like creature. Welcome back. All of them are bad. Hogging Starfish wins. Here's the results if you care to read them. Okay, cool. Roll the song. Yup. Everybody with the bad back stand up. Not too fast though. Bad back. Don't want anybody ending up in the ER. I got bad back. Yeah. I got bad back, apocalypse, scoliosis, I got lumbar sciatica, yeah, that's my diagnosis. I got bad back, yeah, but my eyesight is worse. It's no longer 2020, that's the mid 20s, cause I got bad back. Yeah. I got bad back. Did you hear that? I think my spine is talking. To throw it back, please enter the factor off. Token, this isn't me. I used to raise the roof, 49 inch heels. Here, let me show you the proof. I got bad back. Yeah. I got bad back. Uh -huh. You can't do that online. You'll get your ass fired. Babe, you're 27 now, and your warranty expired. Your back's in so much pain. If you sneeze the wrong way, I'ma go take some vitamins. You wrap up here. Hey, I got bad back. We're technically not a millennial. I got bad back. Made production. I got bad back, but my eyesight is fucked. It's no longer 2020. I guess I'm out of luck. I got bad back, and you know what they say. Once you hit my 20s, you're one leg in the grave. I got bad back. Bad back. Who's with me? I got bad back. Got bad back, apocalypse, scoliosis, I got lumbar sciatica, yeah, that's my diagnosis, I got bad back. Me in the house. I got bad back. 